This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what? Principal Ms. Jackson Williams and Adler. 
receiving a trophy for a third straight season. He topped over the year. He was looking forward to this goal and getting back to the Affinity Center. Polly trying to double dip it on the girls' end. By the time this comes out, you'll know if the girls have done it or not. But we know one thing, the Polly boys have done it for a third straight season. Third straight year for the engineers. Getting it done here. Listen, what a story. Polly, one time, not known for basketball on the boys' end. Not a lot for it on the girls' side, but they have become not only a state power now, but a national power. And the engineers move on to next season, team that will be intact for the most part. We say so long to you for now to die, Sporting Network. Patterson Wakamako out of the Eastern Shore for the 2A championship coming at your way here shortly here on the Dice Sporting Network. You stick and stay right here with us. of our program and the guys to my right and um, 
you know, just and the, the guy to their right um, and all the people that uh, are involved in it. Um, you know, I, I'm very proud that we're here to do this. I mean, there's so many people that help these guys out year round with our tutors and our yoga and our meals and um, just everything that we do. We have a big support system of people. I'm, I feel honored to be the head coach in it. And uh, I'm thankful for all the people that were around, and I'm happy we get, we get the party together again. A couple of fast starting 28 to 4, 29 to 4. I mean, just kind of took the wings out of uh, reservoir sales. Um, you know, we said when we were sitting here a couple of days ago that um, uh, we felt that if we if we got guys together to to um, follow the game plan and, and just uh, do it with the effort that we're used to seeing out of them, that we thought we were the best team here and that um, things would go well for us. And um, Amani uh, started out with the assignment of guarding uh, number four, um, who was a you know super active, really you know really good ball player. Um, and um, and I saw, I, I just know, you know, you win these things with seniors. We got an unbelievable junior class. But I knew he would be ready for that challenge. He was. And his defensive energy in the beginning of the game sparked everyone else. And I saw, once I saw the way he was moving out there, I knew he would die. Yeah, talk about Omani. Part of three championship teams. Um, came to you from McDonough. Just talk about just his growth these uh, last three years. Um, well, I was real happy to be able to give him the exit in, at the end like that. It actually took a little while about, you know, we're trying to set it up. Um, but it make sure he got the respect he deserves. Um, to get college or NBA guys to commit to, um, you know, playing a role. I mean, Amani can really score in the post. Amani is a skill big. Amani. Um, can do a lot of things, and what we asked him to do as a senior was to commit to what this team needed to be its best, and he did exactly that. Um, he's grown throughout his time here, um, and what I do know um, that I really want to feel comfortable with as a guy leaves our program is that he's ready for college. And his best basketball is definitely in front of him. He's got some good prospects moving forward. Um, you know, he'll make his decision in the next month or so, I'm assuming. Um, but I feel really good about what he's going to be able to do in college. I feel really good about his growth. And, you know, it's funny, I, I've heard, like, other people's perspective on different guys that we have in their development, um, including him. And, it, and it, I, I laugh because, you, with, you know, from the outside, you know, um, you know, from the outside, and I've gotten to watch him develop for the last three years overall. Um, and the basketball part now, I think, is going to um, really skyrocket for him because he's developed as a young man, and I'm real comfortable where he is there. So moving forward, um, the question, three years, a um, um, lot of ups and downs, a lot of button heads, uh, a lot of growth uh, opportunities. <laughs> um, but, but, but that's what, I mean, you know, I, I know they're laughing, and, I, I, you know, I, I, it's funny to me too, but, you know, that's what this is about. This is about banging our heads against each other and then coming right back to the table and figuring out how to grow from it. Um, so we've done plenty of head banging together and then plenty of growing. Um, so I'm real proud of this dude. I'm so happy that he's sitting right here, to be honest with you. Why not with the way got him? And then, Coach, so obviously past three state championships, what is unique about this team? Um, so I'm going to go right back to the beginning of what um, the first question. Um, I think we're different. Um, I told these guys in the pregame speech, which I get really excited to give, um, that we're different. And we've established ourselves um, from the beginning of our program, even when we weren't winning state championships, as what I like to think um, as people that are um, more committed to what we're saying we're going to do than saying it itself. Um, so, you know, everybody says they're a family, everybody says they care about their guys beyond basketball, but myself, Coach Fitz, our entire staff, I'm just proud of the way we show these guys. Look, we love this game. We grew up on it. Um, but we're a family of guys. We're going to teach you guys how to be a family of guys. We're going to support each other. You're going to support the next guys in line. These guys, it's fun watching Bryce do a little bit of what he does out there, and Trey and our young boys. And they're going to do the same thing. And then after going to the stands and seeing Torn and Cleve 
and some guys that were part of these state championships. Even Big Jordan, who was, you know, the guy who kind of set up the state championship run. Um, you know, I think that we we took the time to build. We took the time to build the right way, so it ain't gonna come down easy. Coach, talk about Brandon Murray's uh, impact on y'all season. Feel like he improved every game y'all had, every big game y'all had. He did a lot. Um, Brandon is a super talented guy, um, but you know, once again, he even said this when he was sitting here last time. Look, there are things he can grow um, with on the basketball court, but what we do is work on you as a person. And I've seen as a coach that um, you know, one thing I definitely have learned um, in the last five years or so more is I was way, I was really into skill work when I first started as a head coach because as an assistant, I spent a lot of time on skill work. Um, and, you know, it's just, it is very important and we continue to work on it. But, you know, the mindset is the most important thing that you can develop in a young person that faces the challenges that come with being a high level student athlete. And Brandon has been developing his mindset since he got to us and his skill set is getting to show more because of it. Um, so I'm real proud of his development thus far and we're really just getting started. I mean, I, I um, you know, all these guys, I feel that, you know, their, their growth is just getting started. I'm proud of what it's done up to this point. But, um, you know, real excited where it's going to go from here. Marty, just talk about the three years. Um, coming in from McDonough to Poly definitely was a big transition for the academics. But being with you know, the guys on my left and right, especially Coach Sam, helped me through all the you know, problems and all that. But I think the thing that really, like, made a difference, made a difference from McDonough was the family that we had here and guys pushing you day to day to get better. And I think another thing that helped us was the things that we didn't, I didn't get at McDonough like study halls and we have so many like different resources here that just set you up to, there's no way for you to fail. And I just really appreciate coaches and the players push me each and every day and definitely the players because I feel like, <laughs> I said definitely, I definitely appreciate the players because I feel like this um this off season I could have gave a little bit more to them, but they stick with me through, stuck with me through the child tribulations that I've been, you know, following up, but they stuck with me, so the perseverance will be on there. Just talk about just being a defensive presence. Everybody wants to score, everybody wants to have the triple doubles and all. You created a niche. Um. Well, I feel like you know the players that we have to my right are very skilled and. I just want to make a presence to things that we aren't doing or just being a leader or, let's say, a captain of, you know, defense, really. So doing things that, you know, players don't really like to do, like, you know, getting their heads, stick your head in there, getting rebounds, down the floor, taking charges. So doing those type of things when you already have three high-level D1 players. So just doing the things that they, you know, we all can do, but just doing the tough things so we can get that W at the end. Any of you guys can just talk about uh, talk about mine. He just been walks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I just say me and Money came in the same year. We changed like this year. You know, being the point guard, you gotta you gotta uh, keep everybody in that. You, got, you can't be the one to get out of control. Sometimes you know, you got you, like, you get there, you get out of control, and I know Money is that one person I can just go to. You always had a good attitude, always to get me right. And that, that, was a, that was a big, big uh, thing for me this year, giving the stuff up at this end. And I, I seen the change throughout the three years, and I appreciate that. Uh, it's my guy. I don't miss him. Uh, <laughs> just playing with money, it's, it's been good. I mean, in practice, he challenged me every day, and he just never backed down. Like, it don't, I don't care. Like, who's your big man? He just he ain't going to back down without a fight. I'm just happy to be a part of this. Monty just brings his game. He brings his like, and brings his energy to every single game. And Monty just always in the right spots. He's always just going the way he's doing things that we kind of lack on. And that's just been great playing with Monty this season. Hey, just talk about how you guys can answer it. Being a part of history um, since probably since a year ago. You guys were the favorite. You guys had the burden of expectations of finishing a uh, piece of history. And, you know, 65 days after you guys got it. Um, I would 
would talk about how, like, coming in, we are always looked at as, like, the skilled guys and something, like, in that order. But it really started with the guys that came before us that worked hard at Paris State State, really didn't have as maybe as much skill as us and as much resources as us. But they had the platform for us to get where we are now, and we wouldn't be there without them. Like, guys like Big Jordan, Dre Perry, Demetrius, Self, Cleve. Yeah, definitely. All those guys definitely started this for us. So from here, we're just going to keep on going up. Coach, today your, your, your press was more or less a closer. <coughs> you were out there at the game with you know, stretch the lead. Um, has that been the case all year? Has it been a closer for you all year? Um, the, really, whatever we needed at that particular time. Um, so we've had different, we played St. John's DC and uh, we had a stretch, we were pressing early. We had a stretch where they started to figure the press out. Casey was killing us. Um, and we switched to our zone um, with about a minute. You know, it was like two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter and rolled it out through overtime and that won the game for us. Um, St. Francis, I believe we played our zone most of the game. Uh, regional championship, we ran our man pressure most of the game. Um, so the uh, we really felt like we had a group of guys that were, were capable of beating anybody and doing it in different ways. And throughout the year, I felt like we just built all of our defenses in a way that when we came down here, like we were prepared to go zone today. Um, we knew that our advantage was man, but if we got an early foul trouble or um, they got an early lead and we felt like we needed to change the pace, we, um, we were comfortable that we could switch defenses to do that. And we were comfortable that all of our defenses would be high level. Um, so it worked that the first, uh, the first thing that we wanted to do worked and then we took it from there, but we were um, preached preach to the guys and felt real comfortable with it. It didn't matter uh, what kind of game this turned into, we were going to make it our game. Coach, tell me about the growth of your point guard. It seems that as his game has matured, it, it, it seems to be a lot easier for everybody out there. Absolutely, including me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I told him, you know, nobody's better than you after the game, and it's the truth. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to compare him to well, yeah, nobody's better than him in my opinion. Um, you know, in today's game, you know, I grew up, uh, I, I've been a Baltimore basketball guy since I was born. Um, and point guards in our town um, used to be everywhere and guys that could really control their team and win games on their shoulders and figure out how to get who the ball win and when they can score. Um, and then, you know, in the age of the combo guard, which there's nothing wrong with, um, it seems that everybody wants to do that. And I think Ryan's even struggled with how much of that he wants to do. But at this point, where he's gotten to to be you know, a true floor general, um, you have to watch him play like four or five times before you realize how good he is, I think. Um, because he's going to win, and you're going to be like, oh, but what about you know this guy did that and this guy did that? But the reality is, if you're a college coach at the mid-major level and you want to win some conference championships, I think you should be recruiting this young man. Um, uh, and, and if you're at the high major level and you want to win some championships, I think you should be recruiting this with young man. So, um, you know, I go to battle with that kid. I mean, and I'm not joking. Like next year, Oak Hill, Montverde, whoever, they're going to have problems with that young man if they got to match up with him. I don't care who their point guard is. Um, so I go to battle with Ryan all day, every day, at any level against any point guard. Um, and I've been proud of his growth. Um, I mean, to be. Full disclosure, there was a time in July where I hated his guts for like two days. Um, and I'm oh, sure he hated my <laughs> much. Um, but, you know, once again, like, once again, like, you know, with talking about us button heads, like, never, like, really, like, how you hate your own, you know, your family members for a day. Um, but, you know, just in terms of um, watching them grow, and then we saw him hit a point um, in the fall, and we're like, oh, it's over now. Um, we saw he kind of figured it out about who he was and how he was going to be. His leadership increased, his confidence increased, and he's a bad boy. I'm mean, lucky to have him as my point guard. So when what? you have when you have personnel like this and you win like you've won over the last few years, you get opportunities to play in games like you were talking about before the St. John's is that a lot of public school teams don't have an opportunity. When you start making a schedule for next year, take us kind of through your thought process and who you want to play tournaments you want to play in. 
<laughs> well, if, if, so the reality is, is that, I mean, if, I, if it's up to me, I want to know who the top 10 teams in the country are next year. I want all 10. That's my thought process initially um, because I, 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 I know that these guys are super high level ball players, super high level leaders, young men. They've been through a lot together, a lot of uh, big battles together. And I know they're going to be ready for more in the future. Um, um, so when I think about the schedule, I just think, you know, how, how can I mean, really, I, I, this was my, um, I remember people saying, why do you guys play St. Francis? You know, when I first got the pilot job, what, what would you schedule them for? Um, and I think people now know why. Um, so maybe they'll ask that about some teams next year. But I, I, I want to play the best that we can play. I want to represent uh, great public schools. Um, our school system has been taking some heat recently. I saw some stuff today about it. We're proud to represent it with a bunch of scholar athletes. We'll play any private, public, in between. Um, we just, you know. Coach Pitts. Last question. Coach Pitts, how has it been uh, to work with Lewis and Amon? How have you been able to work with them and talk about their development over the, over the time that they've been on your tutors? Uh, it's been great uh, working with those two. Uh, they, the thing about it that's great is I was pretty good myself, but it's exceptional when you got athletes that can play above the rim, and now you can give them the mindset of how to play at any level of basketball. And they've been taking it in so many each and every day. Um, I'm gonna miss my big fella. Had him for three years. It's been a growing process with him, but you seen tonight his impact. We talked about number four, and I was like, man, we got Monty Walker. That's it. His senior. That's your, that's your, it's your time now to prove exactly who you are and what you can bring. If a Division One school wasn't there tonight, ready, not ready to offer Armani Walker something to drop. I mean, a 6 eight guy that can move because the game has changed. He can guard two through five. I watch it every day. Like it's been great, and it pushes Justin, who's up under him, every day. Like another high major, high level kid. Like we got a, a, a bunch of special kids here that. It's been a pleasure. Started, you know, we started started up at the bottom, but now it's a difference. And when we go into gyms, it's a great feeling. I know we're working with these with these guys. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Go Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Die Sporting Network.